One trick of LGBT activists is changing the meaning of words. We see this in the way they celebrate sex reassignment as gender affirmation, but condemn conversion therapy as sex reassignment. Let's imagine there's a six-year-old boy named Johnny, and Johnny experiences gender dysphoria. He says he wants to be a girl. The science shows that in at least 80% of the cases, gender dysphoria eventually goes away on its own. So, if Johnny and his parents do nothing, the odds are that by the time Johnny goes through puberty, his gender dysphoria will go away. However, if a therapist or doctor were to help Johnny get over his gender dysphoria and counsel him in a way that helped him identify as a boy, this would be described as conversion therapy. In several states, it's illegal. In those states, the only thing a therapist is allowed to do with a child who has experienced gender dysphoria is to help them embrace their identity as the opposite sex. If they don't, they would be professionally punished or even lose their license. However, if a therapist assures Johnny that he is really a girl, gives him puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and then helps him get surgery that removes healthy body parts and permanently sterilizes him, this is referred to as gender affirmation. That is legal in all 50 states. But isn't it interesting the words they use to describe these situations? Helping a child identify with the body they were born with is called conversion therapy. Giving a child artificial hormones and plastic surgery is called gender affirmation. If that seems backwards to you, that's because it is. If you like this video, let us know below. If you want to make sure you see the next one, hit subscribe. If you'd like to keep these videos free and available to the whole world, chip in below.